you can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me I'm going to be showing you the DeWalt grease gun kit I just recently upgraded to this normally I use this little hand pump for all the little grease inserts that I was doing but recently I upgraded to a tractor that has a lot more grease inserts so I decided to go with something electric you can see the loader has quite of these inserts all over them and then the backhoe has quite a bit all over them so and everyone's saying I need to ins uh, grease these things about every 10 hours of use so I decided that I'd go ahead and upgrade to something electric. Since I used DeWalt tools, I went ahead and stayed with the DeWalt brand, and I'm getting another charger and battery. You can also get them without that. I also went ahead and get the, got the case, which you can also get without the case. Me, I like getting stuff with cases. It just makes me more organized, and it helps me keep the stuff more clean when I'm putting it away in that case. But you can uh, get it without the case. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link the link down in the description. I also got this lock and lube. I'll also link that down there. All right, let's open this thing up and see what's inside it. go ahead and show you what I'm unboxing again and here's the numbers right down here if you're looking for it. also shows that it's assembled pretty much here in the USA you guys see the stuff on the back in case you guys need to know any other information that I'm not giving you guys Charger. Give you a strap. Gives you a pretty good length for a uh, grease. Cord. Battery. It comes with. Looks like it comes with two bars. So it looks like it's probably ready to go. Has pretty good instructions on how to operate the grease gun and probably a lot of other stuff that you don't really need. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the actual uh, diagram of the parts. So here that is. Also talks about the battery, stuff like that. And it has instruction on how to fill the grease cartridge. And then it also has instructions on doing the bulk grease. And of course, since it's uh, battery operated, it's going to cover the battery stuff. But it has uh, quite a bit of pages of instructions, probably in other languages as well. It has troubleshooting stuff. So the instructions isn't too bad. I'm going to ahead and show you guys how to put the grease cartridge in. Pull this handle and pull it out and flip it up to this little groove right here. And unscrew this. Comes out like that. You see that it's pretty empty. And then there's a screen right up in there. You go ahead and take your cap off of your cartridge. Down in there. Now I'm going to 
Go ahead and pull this off, this end. A little bit on the fade. And it just goes right back in there. There you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this light in the front because I just turned it on and I thought it was broken because it's not coming on. The manual says you actually have to have this on and you have to tap that trigger and then it'll come on and it says it'll stay on for 20 seconds and then it'll turn back off. So you guys get this. Uh, keep in mind that you also have to hit that trigger for that light to come on. All right, I also went ahead and put a lock and lube grease insert on here. I also listed that in the description. So go check it out as well. Some of these, I'm going to have to move this out to get to some of them. Yeah, 
couple of these. I'm not getting this to go in there, so I'll probably do a couple of these just with a hand greaser. But yeah, that one and that one, it's not going in there. And it even shows that they're different sizes. So not all of these are going to work. Do this rest test later, but as you can see, that's a lot easier than using that hand pump and having to pump every single one of them. Again, there's my review, working pretty good, makes things uh, quite a bit quicker. And let's try to show you guys a close up of this lock and lube. Push this button in. Let those teeth come way out, and that's what grabs onto that nipple. And then it won't slide off. You get it on there, it has nowhere to go, so you slide it out, slide that nipple over, and it locks in there. Now it won't come off. Then you can pump that grease in there. You don't have to worry about it popping off and start spooling out all over the place. So my weenie dog's down here working hard. There's some mice in here that he's been chasing. And it looks like he had dumped over one of my electric buckets. Looks like there's some mice nesting in there. So he's over here making a mess for me. Good boy, weenie. Looks like something must have went up in that grill. Girl might want to see this. He's gonna get his ass fucked. He's gonna get your ass whooped.